We're making a coronavirus cake, you guys, because I'm depressed and I wanted to try and turn this into something good. Hi, everyone. My name is Tom Hanks. Let's get started. <sighs> Now before we get into this video, there are links in the description box so you can help donate to organizations that are helping fight the coronavirus. We are all affected by this, so if you can donate, please do. So like I said, the reason I decided to make this cake is because I am deeply saddened by how this is affecting everyone. My parents are older, my aunt who is 80 lives with them. And because they are high risk, I'm the one that goes out, buys the groceries, buys all the supplies, drops it off so that, fingers crossed, they won't be affected by this. Standing in the Costco lines, standing in the Walmart lines, watching the news, it's driving me insane. And so I thought I would take this virus and try to create something good out of it. And so that's why I've been doing quarantine cooking. That's why I'm creating this cake. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so we've got all of the cake decorating basics. I got my cake stand, my support system, my PVC pipe, and my cakes. Now this is a coronavirus cake through and through because I didn't have the supplies that I needed to create cakes because everyone was hoarding things at Walmart. So instead of being able to add eggs and oil to my box cake, I added cream soda because that was the only thing that I had in my pantry. I couldn't find eggs anywhere, so I just resorted to making a vegan cake, which is pretty good. Now I do have icing on hand because I have icing for days, really. And then to create the crown spikes, um, I'm going to be creating almost like a Rice crispy treat, but I don't have Rice crispy treats. I have granola. So I'm going to be using that, marshmallows, oh I need a little bit of butter, and then red food coloring. I kind of like this cake because it forced me to have to work with ingredients I already had in my house because I couldn't find anything in the stores. So let's get started. Quarantine life is so boring you guys. You have to find ways to entertain yourself. Today I was feeding my cats and looking at the photoshopped picture of the cat on the bag and I was wondering what would I look like if I made that face? So I spent like 10 minutes trying to recreate the, the picture of the cat on the bag. My cats never look that happy. All right, so here is the base of my coronavirus cake. It's so weird that I'm making this, but this is like the same shape as my cute and scary cakes, except there's no bottom part. I'm just gonna pretend that it's just like floating in the air, even though you can see this, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me, it's fine. I'm gonna place this in the freezer to set up, and then I'm gonna start to work on my granola crispy treats. Ooh, I'm excited about that part. So I've got some melted butter in my bowl. I'm going to add some marshmallows, and I was gonna do this on the stove, but I'm kinda too lazy, so we're gonna do it in the microwave. Let's get to it. Okay, so I've got my Rice Krispie Treats mixture. Um, I put shortening on my gloves so that they don't stick. And I'm just going to incorporate all of this until everything is covered in red. Oh, that's good too. Originally I was gonna do this with fondant. But this is so much tastier. So the picture that I'm using is a picture that they've been using on the news all time. It's gray, and then there's red spikes coming out of it, and that's why it's called the coronavirus. Because corona in a different language, I think in Spanish, maybe? I don't know. Means crown. And so these spikes are like the tips of a crown. And that's what attaches to your throat and your nasal cavity through your mouth, and then it just 
starts infecting the rest of your respiratory system. Trust me, I'm a doctor. No, don't trust me, I'm not a doctor. So I'm gonna finish mixing this and then I'm gonna start to shape it. So when you're creating these, you're basically just creating a triangle and this is the part that attaches to the rest of the virus, I think. And this is what attaches to your lungs. Got that, and you're just gonna repeat this process over and over and over again until you have enough. Coronavirus! Rice Krispies treats, rice granola Krispies treats for your entire cake. I need to stop eating this. I don't know if I have enough if I just keep eating the pieces. It's harder to eat than Rice Krispies treats, but texture's bomb. Okie dokie, so I finished making all of these. Look, they look like hot Cheetos. Huh, just a pile of flame and hot. I'm gonna start icing my cake with some gray buttercreams. the cake so far I added texture to it so that it looks like it's trying to grasp onto a host like a virus does. I've got a few more pieces of icing detail to create with some yellow and some orange icing and then it's time to add Mahachitos. I think this is the only way I could really turn this very, very negative into a positive because now I get to eat this guy. And I know that this part's good. I know the icing is pretty good and the cake is gonna be great. Imagine this is what I'm creating two weeks into quarantine. What am I going to make on day 57? There are links in the description box so that you can help donate to people who are affected by the coronavirus, which is basically all of us. I know that these are really trying times and I know that there are a lot of you, just like me, who have elderly parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles who you're taking care of, but you are not alone. Everyone's going through the same problems. I've cried so much over this, trying to figure out how to keep them safe. And if you're having mini breakdowns at Walmart because of all of the chaos that didn't just happen to you. So I hope you guys are staying safe. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!